This is from the exotic fish shop, Steve O'Brien. Hopefully the three Baramundi inside are good. All three guys look good. They look huge too, I thought. Five to six, well five to six inches about right. Looks good. Nice body mass. Don't look emaciated at all or depraved. I'm sure that their time is a sunk in before the shipping if they were fasted. But so far they look real nice. Okay, here we are in the new tank. That's one, two, the dark one. Three right here. Baramundi. The lighter color one is the light, lighter colored one is the Nile perch, and the one in the back there also. It's striking how similar they look. The Baramundi, of course, has this uh, white stripe right on the top of its head and cranial shield, all the way to the dorsal. Very nice size and very good health, it looks like. Good condition. Of course, they're hungry, their stomachs are empty. Slightly sunken, but hopefully they will start feeding for us without any problems. I just put them in the tank one minute ago. This guy's tail is tattered, as you can tell probably. So there was some, uh, there were some disputes in their tank where they came from at Steve's. A little bit of damage on their dorsal rays, but this this is probably from catching and from from the shipping. So these two guys look good. In terms of having no tether, this guy has this guy has some tether on the adipose and the and the tail fin. Yeah, this guy's dorsal is up, so he's feeling good. This one's dorsal down. He's not doing so good yet. And this one's too, sometimes up, sometimes down. We grew Baramundi already once over about four or five years to three feet from one inch. And I believe I lost them uh, due to thiaminase. I was not supplementing the whole frozen fish I was feeding them back then. It probably developed vitamin B1 deficiency and died. It's all on, we have a thread about our Baramundi on the Monster Fish Keepers, so those interested can, can read it. What happened and see the photos and videos of our prior specimen. So this is the second time we got Baramundi. Last time I only had one. No, I bought, I bought, we bought two, but we lost one early. This time we bought three, and they're much bigger than the prior batch of one inches. So we'll see what happens. Okay, sweetie, relax. Turn the light off and let him let him get let him calm down. I thought they were bigger than the Nile perch. Every time you look at the at, at, at any fish from above, it looks bigger than when you put it in the tank. 
So right now they look the same or as our Nile perch. I thought they were smaller. The, the, per, the Nile perch was smaller than the Boromundi. So that's good. Because I was afraid for the Tigrinus and the Giardini, which are slightly smaller, that share this tank. And I got three silver Rowana, bigger ones in here. And a uh, West African longfish. That's the roster of their section of the tank. And a placo, of course. This is about four hours later. I just fed the tank with pieces of mullet, arowana, and uh, Nile perch ate with gusto as usual. Baramundi have not shown any have not shown any desire in eating yet. <laughs>